find them and lock them up myself. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, oh, when he get out, he's going to be doing so-so, he's going to be doing so-so. If I see OJ on these streets, I'm going to go lock him up myself, man. Yeah, one white woman, huh? That's all it's going to take. One. Yeah. Just one. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen, what? right? What? The Jew's going to be on these streets, man. Yeah. The minute he get out, he's going to be on these streets. I find it hard to believe that he's not going to be able to drink. He can't drink. Uh, uh, he can't have a blood alcohol level of 0. 0.8, which is like super, super minimal from the way I understand it. Like, I, like two I, I, drinks, man, three drinks. Is that three drinks? Okay, okay. That's like three drinks, man. I find it hard to believe that OJ not going to have a drink every now and then out in public with people that want to buy him drinks. Like, you know where we're from. Home, man. You know where we're from, man. It's hard to turn down a drink when somebody buy it for you. A free drink? <laughs> <laughs> man, I went to my boy, I went to my boy Bill Noose's house. Shout out to Georgia Tech, Georgia Tech stand up. Noose lives in Long Island, man, uh, on the water up there. So uh, Saturday night when the kids got tired and sleepy, I went up to hang out with him and a couple of other former teammates, and we watched some MMA matches. Um, and... As soon as I walk in, he gives me a big hug and picks me up and throws me against the wall, which is something that he does. Long story. I'll explain later. And he goes, what you drinking? And I looked at him and I said, whatever you pouring, man. Right. And he goes, no, no, seriously. We got a whole bunch of stuff, man. What you drinking? I said, I'm not paying for it, am I? Right. He said, no. I said, then bring me whatever you want. <laughs> right, right, right. I'll drink that. But, yeah, man, um, it's going to be hard for the juice to not be who he is, man, because he thrives off being the juice. Right. So it, 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 he's going to be out in public, man, and, and it's going to make me sick to my stomach, man, and I just hope he keeps himself out of trouble. But I was wrong, Doug. Yeah. I was wrong. I thought there was no way these fine Caucasian folks were going to let that man out of jail. <laughs> I thought there was no way that they would let him back on these streets. But I was wrong, man. You are listening to the Ryan Stewart Show on the Two Live Stews Radio Network. There was something you okay, wanted to mention. So, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you, you go ahead. What you about to say? Go ahead. No, I was going to say, you, you said there was something you wanted to mention. Make sure that you mentioned before you got out of here today. Okay. Hot dogs for three dollars, <laughs> hamburgers for three dollars. Uh-huh. Oh man, New York is great. You can get a three dollar hot dog or a three dollar hamburger, and that includes chili. Right. But then you talk about a, a Heineken, one Heineken for ten dollars. Where do you, where do people sell a Heineken for ten dollars? What? Where? Are you... And listen, not that I smoke Lucy's, but I saw people selling Lucy's for five dollars. One Lucy for five dollars. Where does that happen, at, man? Oh yeah, you know that the, there's a big time black market for cigarettes in New York. They actually smuggle cigarettes from. Uh, I read a big article about this a while back. They smuggle cigarettes from down south where the taxes on them are so much lower. Like that's kind of like the dope business now. Cigarettes in New York. Yeah. What? Yes. Yes, you can't you can't bring cigarettes from some county in North Carolina or Georgia and sell them in New York. They actually have a stamp based on the county and how much the tax rate is. So guys smuggle cigarettes from down south to, you know, the up north cities or whatever, man, and make huge profits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is this this is where you fall short of winning Big Brother of the Year award because <laughs> you knew I was coming up here. You didn't tell me nothing about the cigarette hustle. Man. I would have bought a truckload of cigarettes. <laughs> hey man, listen. The last thing, the last thing you knew to do with my nieces and nephews, man, is catch a charge trying to sell some damn cigarettes up in New York City. Yeah, man. We didn't know a couple of cats that lost their life up here behind Lucy's, man. So yeah, we didn't want to do that. Uh, real quick, I was listening to your show, man, and guy's name that paid the four dollars and he's in the chat room now tell that story again real quick man uh oh jungle brother yeah so we had to, okay. we had to suspend jungle brother from the show on spreaker like a year and a half ago because he's just unruly and when we go to the new website the doug show.com lo and behold jungle brother's back in there and for the most part i'm okay with it even though he's an asshole and unruly he paying his four dollars so he gucci <laughs> you're whore <laughs> Right, right. You're a whore, man. Well, basically. You, no, 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 well, nothing. You are going to subject your entire audience in a chat room that they love and that they communicate with you on and each other on. You're going to subject them to the a-hole named Jungle Brother because he's paying you $4 a month? Well, well a, couple, a, 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 couple, a couple things, a couple things. I need that $4. And, and, and also... Oh, okay. I hope Jungle Brothers. I hope Jungle Brothers listen. I think I remember this dude because I used to be in that chat room from time to time, man. Before he got ousted. Right. Um, if the Jungle Brothers steps out of line, 
Right. You let me know, man, and I will pay you six dollars a month <laughs> to kick his ass back out. Whoa. Okay, then. I like that. Yeah. 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 Because listen, man, you 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 know we've done this radio thing for a while, man, and those chat rooms, man. They can be people in there that their sole purpose in there is to make it uncomfortable for right, everybody else. Right. Oh, there's a couple and, of and, 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 and I don't think that our listeners to the Two Last News Radio Network should be subject to that. So if, you know what, $7. One of my favorite numbers wow. is 7 If the Jungle Brother steps out, you let me know, and I'll pay you $7 a month. Hey, praise his holy name, man. I appreciate that sentiment, man. There are several assholes in the chat room. They are. No, man. Now, what I do is, what I do is I just, you know, I deal with it. I like the different perspectives, so it's okay. But but it's good to know that I got a backup where I can just delete Jungle Brothers' account in the DougStewartShow.com mm-hmm. at any time and profit actually $3. Hey, man, when you said I laughed so hard in the last hour of your show just now, when you mentioned how the Jungle Brother pays his money so <laughs> you cry <probably> with <laughs> it? It, it, it no, is what it is, man. Um, and I don't think you should cut him for something simple. It, it needs to be really egregious for you to say, okay, you can't be back in here. But, yeah, man, don't hold everybody hostage because of that dude, man. I'll, 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 pay, his, I'll pay his $4 oh, for three more. Man, listen, you don't, uh, listen I'm just telling you the, the little small parts about this. You have no idea the depths of an asshole this guy is. I mean, seriously. I listen every day, man. I, 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 not every day, but... Most days when you're on air, I'm listening, man. I might not call and text you like I do sometimes, but I'm listening, man. So I'm, I'm well, when you when you brought up the gentleman brother being back in the chat room, I said, oh, no, the hell he's not. Right, <laughs> right. I said, no, he's not. Cause, cause, <laughs> but cause then think you about said, why? Right, because, the dollars, it makes total sense, man. Right, because the stews, you know, we love the peoples. We love the children. Love we the love people. the people. And so for, I, for me to have to just delete this guy's account will tell you, he actually owes another stewie. He actually owes another Stewie five thousand dollars, or and, and not five thousand, an actual paycheck, right? Yeah, and he don't want to pay it. He's a bet Welsher as well. Yeah, That's very funny stuff, man. Yeah. Hey, so look here, man. So y'all about to hit the road uh, as soon as you're done with the show, or when are y'all getting on the yeah, road? Yeah, man. I'm gonna catch a nap, man. Um, Wake up and pack that truck up, man, and we're going to drive through Times Square and bring the kids back home, man. Listen, man, my, my, my wife posted something on social media saying that um, she really enjoyed this vacation more than any other because, you know, she's from New York. Right. So we, we took the kids to her hometown and to her favorite stomping ground and, and to her school and where she grew up and all these things. So uh, all the places that we went to, the Empire State Building and the, the Statue of Liberty and yeah. uh, Rye Playland Amusement Park, these are things that she grew up doing. Right. So for her to see the, the, the excitement in the kid's face, man, it was really a priceless moment for dad, man. So it's been a great vacation, um, but it's probably the baby's last vacation for another five years. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm done with her. She yeah. but listen, is. We she... shouldn't spend money right. to do something that's called vacationing if the baby's going to act the way she acted every single day. You... No. She needs, to, she needs to go someplace else. Well, the rest of the family vacations, man. I love her to death. And honestly, man, don't tell anybody, but she's my favorite in the house. There's no doubt she's my favorite. But until she learns how to behave, she can't come on no more vacations, man. Wait a minute. I think you just broke a daddy law, man. You're not supposed to say one kid is more of a favorite than the others. Everybody knows it, man. <laughs> I, whenever they step on the line, I tell them all the time, I don't know what you're going to do if your sister don't give you none of the money I leave. Because she gets everything. <laughs> She gets everything. She is, and, and, and my wife gets mad. My wife gets mad when I call her the queen because my wife's supposed to be the queen and she's supposed to be the princess. Right, right. But I look at her too. I'm like, you better not spank that baby because <laughs> in, in, later on in life that baby's gonna have the checkbook. <laughs> 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 when I go, every single thing is going to her. Damn, she, everything. She's an absolute boss, man. No, no, no denying that. Dude, I she, saw... is, she is off the chain, and I absolutely love it. She's a bully. Yeah. She's a bully, man, and I absolutely love it. Hey, man, another great show, the Ryan Stewart Show. The place where Lamar Odom was hanging out called a brothel, man. Say it again. I'm there's sorry. There's nothing about hookers there. They're, they're not hooking because hooking is um, illegal. So uh-huh. those ladies aren't hooking up there. And, and, and what's wrong with the brothel that is legal there? Right, right, yeah. Hey, man, great show, great show. <laughs> se- se- second week back in the saddle. How you feel, champ? Oh, man, I feel good, man. I'm getting my bearings back, man. And next Thursday, I'll be back in the studio with you, so that's even better, man. All right, that's what's up, man. Uh, Be careful in them streets on the way back to the ATL. I'll see you. 
Blessings over burdens, people. Blessings over burdens. There you have it. The Ryan Stewart Show. We'll be back next week. Same Ryan Stewart time, same Ryan Stewart channel. And once again, the Doug Stewart Show will be back on Monday. Same Doug Stewart time at the DougStewartShow.com. Y'all be careful on them streets this week. Peace. One out of all, got crown. I'm a cute. Scoop up a dime, set her out. I'm a cute. Oh, sleep and sit and suck the cake. I'm a cute. Oh, I'm a cute. Oh, I'm a cute. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know yeah. I just want to live my life, I'm a cute, cute sci-fi till I die, I'm a cute, the comic dog get my way, and I'm a cute, if I have a little boy, he don't play as cute, I'ma have him in the cut, getting good, I'm a cute, everybody in the hood know his daddy is a cute, I had to do a song that was good before the cute, I'm a cute, I'm a cute. When I was knee high, I came to be a cute. And now I'm 25, damn right, I'm a cute. And a step show one day, I'm a cute. Yeah, when we get second place, I'm a cute. Break my LB, dust them off, I'm a cute. Drop chicken on the floor, brush it off, I'm a cute. Oh, I am still out, hanging with the cues. I'm a cute, I'm a cute. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues. I know how it is when you grow with the cues. I know how it is when you grow with the cues. I guess by now y'all can tell I'm a cute. Ain't trying to talk down, just saying I'm a cute. I still got love for the those who ain't cute. Some of my tightest pockets ain't no cues. They know one thing for sure, I'm a cute. Duty calls gotta go, no offense, I'm a cute. And they ain't got my backstage dying for the cues. I'm a cute, I'm a cute. Mama told me long time ago about them cues. Told me I could go Greek, but don't be a cute. It was in my nature to go and be a girl. Even in preschool, mama knew I was a girl. Girl, ask me my name, I told her I'm a cute. Teacher, ask me my name, I told her I'm a cute. Cops go, ID, I tell them I'm a cute. I'm a cute, I'm a cute. You know how it is when you go with the cues. You know how it is when you go with the cues. You know how it is when you go with the cues. Hey, you know it's how your it is when you go with the Yes, bros in the club don't throw up your hooks. If you hey. ain't a bro, don't hey. throw up Even your hooks. Even if you hooks. ain't no cute, bros in the club don't throw up your hooks. If you ain't a bro, don't throw up your hooks. Bros in the club don't throw up your hooks. If you ain't a bro, don't throw up the hooks. Bros in the club don't throw up your hooks. If you ain't a bro, don't throw up the hooks. But you know how it is when you roll with the cues. You know how it is when you roll with the cues.